Hi everyone, this is Blake, WartsDB71, and as you can tell from the, uh, the title here, this is a non-vinyl community uh, video. However, um, some of you might want to watch and see what else I like to spend my time on when I'm not uh, in and around <coughs> vinyl uh, records and, and music and etc. Uh, somewhat related if you, uh, if you like old radios. This video really is for um, Patrick and for David and Grant and Richard and John, um, some of my antique wireless uh, community friends. Um, so yeah, I'll jump right into it. Uh, so this weekend, uh, Charlotte was hosting the uh, Charlotte Antique Wireless Conference and Convention. I'm not quite sure what the official title is, but it is indeed uh, quite a quite an event. Uh, I think it started Wednesday night and runs all with, all the way through Sunday. Um, and uh, my friend Patrick and I uh, met and um, basically spent spent the majority of Saturday there at, at not Saturday, Friday um, at the show and uh, participated in the the flea market area that opened up at 8 o'clock, a little mind start, and uh, then uh, we stayed for the auction uh, for a few hours uh, into the auction, uh, basically until we ran out of money and then left. Um, and uh, we we had a good time. It was Patrick's first time, and I think uh, he was overwhelmed and uh, was able to bring home quite quite a few nice pieces. And uh, I finally brought home something that I had been looking for for a while, uh, an Atwater Kent breadboard. Um, however, you'll see that it's not an official at Water Camp build, uh, it's a homebrew, but uh, some really nice components in, 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 in any uh, event. So, um, this also is going to be uh, kind of a <clears throat> informational video for Patrick too because I want to show him the RB3, uh, which I hope he'll be getting uh, one from, from David Snow soon. So, uh, bear with me as I try to carry this camera around. Uh, I'm going to show you, Patrick, uh, what this thing is. Uh, so, it's, you know, really a, a beefed up power supply. And uh, with David's help, I told him what I got and uh, gave him a bunch of pictures. And he helped me come up with a wiring uh, 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 diagram. Not really a diagram, but a wiring suggestion uh, with... 22 and 90 volts going out. Um, A plus is set to 6.2 volts for uh, the tubes. And um, as you can see, it's running through this this wire here and back to the back of the the breadboard here. Um, you can see the terminals that, that I've got it into. Um, so let me put this camera back. And um, then, then what I'll do next is uh, I'll come around to the other side of the camera and then focus it on on the the um, the breadboard and uh, show you that uh, that it actually works. Uh, much to my surprise, uh, again, Grant, thank you for for agreeing to um, back out of the bidding so we don't end up uh, running this thing uh, to a very very pricey item. Uh, I'm very appreciative. So let me. Uh, let me see if I can get this camera <clears throat> pan out a little bit and focus down. So here is the the uh, the the breadboard itself. Again, it's it's a home build. So uh, back in the early 20s, you could buy these components here. I think this is called a uh, uh, variometer and very very vario coupler. Um, then like a condenser, uh, a variable condenser, and this is what they call the Atwater Kent three tube island. And what I've got here are O one A's here, and then back here is a two hundred A. Um, oh shoot, a detector tube. Um, oh, and something else I got. I got to show you this. Um, a, it's a nice speaker. Sorry, um, that I got wired up here. Uh, my first, one of my first cone speakers, uh, this is a Tower Scientific, um, kind of restored, uh, dang it enough, I've already forgotten the gentleman's name, uh, if I remember I'll, I'll uh, type it into the comments here um, below. So let me get this focused and I'll run around and uh, we'll turn on some power. 
I did have it set to a uh, station before I started the video. I'll try to get that tuned back in and then tune across the band. There are a couple of big stations, uh, clear channel type stations in Charlotte that pretty much clobber everything else. But uh, I'll show you, uh, uh, you'll get to see me fumbling trying to get that uh, tuned in. So turning on power now. <clears throat> This is the on off over here, basically. Now this is a uh, Bible, some kind of Bible network news station. Doesn't come in very well. Well, you get the idea there. Now I'll, I'll go to uh, WBT, which is a huge clear channel station. Actually, this is another kind of a sports related channel. Here in the South, it's always NASCAR. Now, let's, uh, let's find that WBT station. I honestly don't, this is the first time I've ever had uh, experience with one of these, so I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. But it's my understanding, this is what folks did back in the day anyway, they fumbled until they, <laughs> they found something. I get a lot of humming here in my neighborhood. I think I'm picking up people's plasma TVs. But you get the idea here. So, <clears throat> Grant, we were wondering if this works. This seems to work pretty well. Um, not very selective. Um, but you can see that uh, it is indeed working. Right now, 
So I just wanted to come back. Um, so uh, there you go. Um, again, Grant, thanks very much for for allowing me to bid on this without you beating me. Uh, this is this is a very nice uh, nice radio for me. Not the Atwater Kent Model 10 I'm looking for, but uh, this will certainly pacify me for a while. Um, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below or, or send me an email, and I'll do my best to try to answer them. Um, I should have done my homework. Uh, I really haven't had time, um, been doing some yard work, to let you know what these different components are. Um, you may already know what, what they are. Or some of you were more experienced anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. May know what these things are. I like what the actual model numbers is what I'm talking about on these particular pieces. Um, I've tried to look here. I, I have to assume, yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume until I've been told otherwise that this tube island has been restored. Um, I, I don't see any signs of, of it being open and restored, but I just got to believe that it is. Um, but everything else looks very clean. Uh, love it. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll get back at you and good vinyl community stuff later on. Again, thanks very much. Thanks very much, uh, Grant. Thanks, David, for your help on the, on the wiring setup. Thanks, Patrick, for going out there with me. Uh, it was your encouragement to, <laughs> to bid on this thing and Grant. Thanks again. We'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.